Hey, Bubblas, I am quelling at the honor to be a finalist in the Unapologetically Jewish contest. Let's rewind to about 1997 when I was in late high school. I grew up as one of the only Jews in my area. Our synagogue was started in 1987 and we were one of the founding families. My close friend Marty was one of the very few Jewish kids I knew. I'm not sure how the conversation started, but he said something about Judaism being an ethnicity, and I argued that it was only a religion. Imagine my surprise when many years later, I got my 23andMe ancestry back and my cultural background was not Russian and Austrian like I thought, but 99.8% Ashkenazi Jew. My whole life, I yearned for a culture. I assumed that my great-grandparents wanted to assimilate into American culture, so they gave up their Russian and Austrian roots, only to realize that my culture was passed down to me. It is the culture of the Jewish people. All of my grandparents were first-generation Americans. My maternal grandma, Mildred, was the third woman to become a bat mitzvah in 1926 with Mordechai Kaplan. My paternal grandma, Gloria, did not get much of a formal Jewish education. She did, however, have a grandma who only spoke Yiddish that helped raise her until she was six years old. Grammy cannot speak Yiddish anymore, but she was surprised about the amount of words that she remembered when we paged through a Yiddish dictionary. Her face lit up as she remembered stories and delighted in telling them. Combined with my love of rhinestoning, anything that will stand still, I will be expanding my Yiddish vocabulary through the words that sparked joy in Grammy by physically making the Yiddish words sparkle. Thanks for being Menches and listening to my spiel. If you want to follow me on my journey, you can find me on Instagram and on Facebook at Learn Yiddish Words.